Hi, I'm Reggie Devani of Logan United FC, and this is the Hyundai Queensland State League. Welcome to the Hyundai Queensland State League Highlight Show, proudly brought to you by Football Queensland. Hello and welcome to Stockland Park Kiwana for what is essentially a replay of the inaugural QSL Grand Final between Sunshine Coast Fire and Brisbane Strikers. Brisbane today playing in their all-blue away strip. Well, there's a lot at stake on this match. And referee Nathan McDonald gets the match underway. One of the interesting points for this match as well is that the former Sunshine Coast keeper, Jared Tyson, is now playing for Brisbane Strikers. And the Strikers ex-keeper, Anthony Hall, is now between the sticks for Sunshine Coast Fire. Castledine finds Hughes. Oh, great run there by Weber. Looking for support. Turns to the defender. Gets it in. Morley and wide. Hall clears a long ball upfield. Oh, heavy clash there with Jai Cross and Jared Tyson. Holmes. Holmes turns one and, well, welcome to the game, says Shea Hughes. And that'll be a yellow card. Don't think there can be any argument about that one. Smith lobs the ball into the area, punched clear by Tyson. Ooh, heavy tackle there in the penalty area, taking a bit of a chance there. Now, oh, it's broken for Scarf, and Blackman offside. Puts it in the net, but it won't count this time, big man. Very patient build-up here by the Strikers. Shea Hughes. Holds off a player, gets the ball out. A bit of room to move here on the left. Oh, a nice bustling run inside Newson. Shot, save, and Morley on the spot. Well, Luke Morley. <laughs> Very good build-up play there by the strikers. Really, the the Sunshine Coast defence looked at sixes and sevens there. No one was really committing. Look, there's three strikers players there together. The shot comes in. Hall gets a hand to it. Morley, Johnny on the spot. Thank you. And that strike is one. Sunshine Coast nil. Strike is still applying pressure here. Moon. Nice move to Morley. In space. Crosses it over. Weber gets a foot to it. And wide. Bit of a battle in midfield here. And here we have Weber. Looking for options. Finds Morley in space out on the left. Well, the Sunshine Fire are going to have to close these guys down a lot quicker than this. If he can get across him, which he does to Gareth Mewson. Lovely goal. Well, he can't stop scoring at the moment. But you'd have to say Sunshine Coast have been giving the strikers far too much space to get their three-pronged attack working. Look at that. Lovely. Rise as well. Puts the ball out of reach of Hall. Running out of time here at the end of the first half. Blackman, well he's had a very frustrating day, the big man. And Nathan McDonald blows the whistle for half time here at Stockland Park. And the score is Brisbane Strikers 2, Sunshine Coast nil. And referee McDonald will get the second half underway. Let's see if they can get something happening up this wing for the coast. And, ooh, heavy clash there between uh, Tyson and Collins. Butters, nice turn. Bit of space down the wing. Gets his cross in. Cleared. Hughes! Oh, he didn't really get a hold of that one. Here's our substitute, Sam Knight. Great run down there on the left. Crosses with the outside of the foot. Saved off the line. Only half cleared here, though. What are they going to do with it? Bit of, oh, he's a bit of a softball to Smith. Still manages to get the cross in. The Stella, oh, cleared by Smith and cleared up by Tyson. Sunshine Coast trying to build up from the back. Blackman, he's had to come very deep and he's, oh, he's taken down Scott McNichol there. 
And in fact, yes, it will be a yellow card. The big man not having a good day today. Here's Tyson Holmes. Long raking ball there to Sam Knight. Castle Dine in attendance. Oh, it takes him down right on the edge of the box. And that'll be a free kick to the Sunshine Coast. And a yellow card for his trouble. And here's Blackman over the ball. Oh, you'd have to say a bit of a disappointing one there. Didn't beat the wall. Here's Holmes. Crosses it over. Luke Bennett. Volley! Off the post! And an overhead attempt there by Michael Estella. Some really good midfield battles going on here. And ooh, Estella went in a bit hard there. And it is a straight red by referee Nathan McDonald. No mucking around there. Some very calm play at the back here by the strikers. Stringing some good passes together. And here's Harris. Jeremy Harris taking them up over the halfway line. Being tracked by Holmes who, oh, <laughs> brings him down unceremoniously there. And the free kick. Beats the wall. All up to the task. Here's Hughes. Jeremy Harris with a raking ball through to Weber. We're with a chance here. Looking for somebody on the back post and no one following through. Tyson with the long ball upfield. Beats the defender. Bit of a rush here. And look at Butters. Nice use of pace there. He's beat him on the outside. Ooh. Unfortunate touch there. Allowed Hall to clear up. And the Fire are trying to salvage something from this match. Innocent Knight. Knight. Tackled well there by Smith. Only as far as Knight. Back into the centre and again cleared up. Well, there just seems to be no way through. And referee Nathan McDonald brings this match to a halt. With the final score, Brisbane Strikers 2, Sunshine Coast Fire 0. Well, we caught up with the uh, coaches of the respective teams after the match and see what they had to say. Obviously very disappointed, you know. It was, a, it was vital that we, we took someone out of the game today after losing last week. And, you know, we've, that's us been beaten. We've only been beaten before this game twice in 13 months in competitive games and that's two in two weeks so we won't take it slightly and we won't take it lying down We're, I think the players have got a squad of players with plenty of character and, and I'm sure they'll bounce back but I was very disappointed in, in some certain things with the game today Yeah, from a striker's point of view obviously we're happy to get the, the three points uh, difficult coming here against a good team um, we know the conditions here are always uh, quite windy and that, that makes it hard to deal with but uh, so very satisfied, satisfied from that point of view. Um, just felt at times or today we could have been a bit more fluent in our passing, particularly in the second half where we'd, we'd worked so hard in the first period to get our noses in front, got the two goals. Uh, and then even after the, the send-off, you know, I thought there was plenty of spaces there for us to exploit, but we, we didn't really get our passing game going. So happy with the three points, but not so much with the, the performance. So we'll need to improve on that. Well, there was no shortage of action and goals in round four of the Hyundai Queensland State League. NQ Razorbacks 4 over Redland City Devils 2 with Joshua Searle picking up all four of the Razorbacks goals. And how about this one? Olympic FC 8-1 winners over Bundaberg Spirit with the Kufa a hat-trick as well. Logan United FC bounced back from their 3-0 loss to Brisbane Strikers last week with a 6-3 victory over Capricorn Cougars that was highlighted by a Raj Ocean hat-trick. QAS were 3 2 victors over with Sunday Miners. And Sunshine Coast, as you saw, going down 2 0 at home to Brisbane Strikers. Well, what a round you'd have to say 31 goals and three players scoring hat tricks. Looking at the table now, Olympic FC move above Brisbane Strikers on goal difference, followed by Sunshine Coast and NQ Razorbacks making up the top four. Logan United fight their way back up to fifth spot, with Redland slipping to sixth. Again, down the bottom. Bundaberg Spirit and Whitsunday Miners yet to open their account. And looking ahead to round five, Bundaberg Spirit are at home to Whitsunday Miners. The two at the bottom of the table come together at Martin's Oval on Saturday the 4th of April at 7pm. That should be a do or die match, that one. Capricorn Cougars are at home to Sunshine Coast FC on Saturday the 4th of April at 7.30 at Jardine Park, Rockhampton. 
FNQ Bulls come up against Redland City Devils on Saturday the 4th of April at 8pm at Borsey Park, Mariba. NQ Razorbacks take on the high-flying Olympic FC at the Townsville Sports Reserve on Sunday at 2pm. Make sure you get there, Townsville folk. That'll be a game to see, that one. And Logan United FC take on the Queensland Academy of Sport Sunday, April 5th, 4pm kickoff at the Clem Jones Field, Slacks Creek. But for the moment, that's all we have for you. Don't forget, tune in next week for all the latest results and action from the Hyundai Queensland State League.